The first two seasons of the Discovery Channel reality show, Bad Chad Customs, gave viewers an inside peek at the inner workings of a car repair shop, as well as the personal lives of the show's main star, Chad Hiltz, aka Bad Chad, and his buddy and business partner, Aaron Rand. However, some fans have become concerned about Aaron's physical condition in recent episodes, due to his absence from specific episodes, as well as a change in his look, which was claimed to be due to a medical issue. After the second season of Bad Chad Customs aired, some people thought that Aaron had a serious COVID-19 infection, or maybe cancer. Aaron has not addressed the subject, nor have any of his co-stars, indicating that he is not active in the industry. Aaron is known on the show for his one-of-a-kind creations, and aside from working with Chad, he's also the co-owner of the construction company, Upcountry Builders. He's skilled in working with a variety of materials, including leather, wood, and metal, it seems like there is nothing that Aaron can't make. However, it is unknown whether Aaron is still working at Hiltz's auto company, because he is not featured on the Connect with the Team section of their official website. Bad Chad Customs is a reality television series, centered on an eccentric automobile designer Chad Hiltz, who uses his ingenuity to transform old cars into custom award-winning works of art. Chad works from a small atelier in rural Canada, located in Cannings, Nova Scotia with the help of his wife Jolene McIntyre, son Colton, friends Alex Gold and Aaron Rand. Chad is arguably best recognized for combining unusual materials into his designs, such as bits of vintage airplanes, boats, and even lockers. Talking about Rand, even though Aaron isn't the most active poster on social media, the man has shown off his craftsmanship in his work and a ton of other mediums on his Instagram account. As per Aaron's Instagram, it seems like he has quit working with cars. His Instagram is full of his leather works. He designs our hand stitches purse, bags, belts. Aaron Rand lives in the countryside of Nova Scotia, Canada. Instead of restoring cars, Rand has been restoring some furniture this year. One of his Instagram posts says it all. My sister had the great fortune to be in the first round. When this awesome example of 60s modern furniture was placed on the curb to be discarded. A puppy had made the rockers a convenient chew toy, but there was enough to pattern an exact copy. I'm so jealous. At least I got to do an honest restoration, and I'll be able to try it out from time to time. Hope you like it. Similarly, he installed a nice fireplace TV cabinet in his home. He posted. Nice fireplace TV cabinet we built and installed last week. Besides working, our beloved Aaron Rand goes for some trips. On July, he went for a long weekend camping trip. He posted some pics captioning the post, a few shots from long weekend camping trip, stayed on Bachman's Beach in Lunenburg. The old building was the boat building shop of famed builder, David Stevens. He was a prolific builder, having completed 70 schooners in his lifetime. In the boat building world, that's incredible. Many of his boats are still operating all over the world. Then, he has another camping adventure in Scotts Bay. In August, Aaron went hiking with his family at Salvage, Newfoundland, and Labrador. He posted some beautiful pics captioning. Hiking in Salvage today, photos do no justice to the feeling walking here gives you. Salvage is an old outpost north of Bonavista Bay, on the rugged east coast of Newfoundland. As of now. It seems like Aaron is back to work, as he has been posting his handmade bags. Fans can go through his Instagram, which is under the username, aaron.rand.900, to buy his brilliant handmade crafts. With that, we've come to the end of the video. What are the things you would want to know about Aaron Rand? Let us know in the comments. We promise you to give the correct information. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and press the bell icon for more updates.